on Grandpa McGillicuddy's knee, where he used to bounce and bounce me, singing, can little Jaybird sing you on a limb? Can little Jaybird sing you on You can tell that, Maggie, by your hands. You're looking at the picture upside down. Those are my feet. And if that ain't proof enough, Maggie's got a big strawberry mole right on her cheeks. Well, what my husband means, Judge, uh, Your Honor, I, I mean, Mr. Blakely, is that I have a strawberry mole just like my grandpa had on Mother, please. <laughs> After searching 37 years, I think this photograph sufficiently establishes you as the missing heir, Mrs. G. <clears throat> now, here's the will. Brief as it is strange. I, J.P. McGillicuddy of Garagos, Nevada, writing this in my own hand. I didn't know any of Maggie's relatives could write. I hereby will everything I own to my granddaughter, Maggie McGillicuddy, lock, stock, and barrel. Beer? <coughs> including my mansion. Mansion? And hidden gold mine in Gower Gulch. A gold mine? Oh. To continue. Oh, I'm so sorry. Little Maggie, I want you to get to Gower Gulch right pronto. To make sure you find the hidden gold mine, I'll come out there and help you myself. That I've got to see. The old man's been dead for 30 years, and he's gone out to shore where the gold mine is. Jeeps, how dare you talk like that about my grandpa? Don't pay no attention to him, Maggie. What? I didn't say nothing. Oh, uh, I didn't say anything. Well, who did? I did, Maggie. Your grandpa. Grandpa? Grandpa? Me and Grizzly Carter shot it out till we killed each other. Now, don't let any of these dirty, dry, ghosts and kinfolk buffalo you into anything. <laughs> don't you worry, Grandpa. I am McGillicuddy. Nobody's gonna bulldoze, <laughs> I mean, buffalo doze your little Maggie. <laughs> Why, Mother, what in the world are you talking about? Shh, quiet. I'm listening to Grandpa. Listening to Grandpa? Yes. Didn't you hear him? No. You mean to say you didn't hear him tell me to go to Gower Gulch warning me against Grizzly Carter's kinfolk? No. no. Tell him, Grandpa. No use, Maggie. Nobody but you can hear me. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no wonder you didn't hear him. He says nobody can hear him but me. <laughs> Goodbye, Maggie. I've got to go now. I'll see you in Gower Gulch. <laughs> goodbye, Grandpa. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye to Grandpa. <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> goodbye, Grandpa. Nora, say goodbye to Grandpa. <laughs> goodbye, Grandpa. <laughs> oh. Where is Gower Gulch? Goodbye, Grandpa. Uh, where? Oh. Where is Gower Gulch? Oh, the nearest railroad station is called Jackass Junction. It's pretty wild western country, Mrs. Jig. You better go well armed. <laughs> Don't you worry about me. I'll be well armed. I'll show them that the pin is mightier than the sword. Come, Dora. Come, Jigs. On. <laughs> On to Jackass Junction. <laughs> Is it far? Well, which way is it? Well, how do we get there? Are there any taxis around here? Oh, don't be silly, Mother. Taxis? In these wild open spaces? <laughs> well, are there? Taxi! Yeah. <laughs> Do you call that a taxi? It'll get you where you're going. These folks want to go to Gower Gulch. Reckon you can drop them off? Get in, folks. Get in, folks. Oh, Daddy, isn't this exciting? That it is. I'll take that, miss. Thank <laughs> Hey, our Clarence, you mean the boy should see me now. <laughs> hey, now, take care of that big one, now. That's something in that incredible. Say, where's the ladder to this upper berth? Get in. Get in. Hurry up. Be careful of that bag. It's got all my cosmetics in it. Get in, Maggie. Oh, you shut up. You better get in, miss. I'm going to ride right up there with that man so I can see where I'm going. You better watch out where you're going. I know where I'm going. Oh, Maggie. You don't know what you're doing. Well, get over, Buffalo Bull. If you're going to ride up here, you're going to ride on this side. Well, then get your big feet out of the way. So I can get up here. Well, go on, stomp on the bell and put this contraption in a high gear. Sure, sure. Get out of here, you ring tail punk. Get up. OK, 
Hey, snake bite. Go for McGillicuddy's kinfolks are on the way. his relatives, eh? Let's put a scare in to him. We'll send him back on the next train. Come on. territory again. Yeah, I'll handle him later. Come on, let's get out of here. I've never been so jostled and jostled and jostled in my life. I, I, I'm, I'm seasick. Well, you ought to be. Oh, 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 thank you. You're a gentleman. Oh. You all right in there? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, 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 oh. Where are we? You're two miles from Gower Gulch. I better get going. Well, hello. Gosh, you were wonderful, Mr. Um, Mr. Carter, Bob Carter. Oh, um, this is my mother, Mrs. Jiggs. How do you do, Mr. Carter? <gasps> Mr. Carter? Any relation to those Grizzly Carters? He was my grandfather, ma'am. Oh, so you're one of them, them, them dirty, dry gulching Carters, offspring of that no good Grizzly who made so much trouble for my grandpa. That's right, ma'am. But don't forget, Mother, he saved us. Saved? No, we're not saved. Get back in the coach. What, again? Oh, Jiggy, oh. will you get back in the coach? we got to right. get to Gower Gulch. All right, I'll do it. We're not taking any help from any Carter. I'll drive this contraption myself. How many times do I have to save your oh, life? Oh, oh, put me down! Oh, 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 Now, 
this is the shoot to shoot. Anything else I can do for you, ma'am? No, thank you. We've had quite enough from you. That suits me just fine. Why, Mother, there's, there's no people. There's nothing here. A ghost town. Well, it looks like the old gopher crawled in his hole and took the town with him. Don't you call my grandpa an old gopher, you little gopher. Oh. Hey, Bob, how come you're driving the stage? I caught it going hog wild from Sunday with the McGillicuddy's trying to bust their necks. You mean to say them's the gopher's kinfolk? Fresh from New York, and I mean fresh. What did you say, young man? I said fresh, ma'am. Jigs, are you going to stand there and let him insult me like that? But, but, but he's got a gun. Well, what of it? I don't know, bullets and... Oh, shut up. Old McGillicuddy's kinfolks. <laughs> Front of the dude ranch where it belongs, Hawkeye. Good riddance, and I hope we've seen the last of you. I wouldn't bet on that, ma'am. Thanks for letting me save your neck and meeting your daughter. Get up! Get up! Well, of all the fresh young innovative whippersnappers, he's the worst I've ever seen. Oh, Mother, I thought he was nice. Oh, you would. Come on, let's get going. Getting late. I'm Hawkeye Higgins, ma'am. Can I help you, ma'am? No, thanks. We don't want any help from a friend of the Carters. Come on, pick up your stuff, Nora and We gotta get going. We gotta find Grandpa's mansion before it gets too late. Hold it, boys. Well, boys, they're here. Yeah, thanks to that kid brother of yours. Yeah, what's the big boss going to say about this snake bite? Oh, he's been expecting it. But I didn't think my brother's going to horn in this way. Say, Slim, get around back and tell Hawkeye I want to see him, will you? Yeah, we'll operate in the old assay office. Gosh, Mother, it's, it's the most desolate place I've ever seen. Well, nonsense, Nora. You're looking at history. Grandpa's history. McGillicuddy history. Grandpa pioneered this town. near this town. <laughs> he owned it. Look, there. And there. And look, way over there. Yes, but look, Mother, the Carter's owned some of it, too. Look at that. Then that one. <laughs> and there. <laughs> Those grizzly Carters. Jigs, you can see for yourself the McGillicuddy. Jigs! Where's your father? I don't know. Jigs! 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 Yes, Maggie. Come here! Yes, Maggie. You would sniff out a bar if there was one. Ah, oh, Maggie, there's no sadder sight in the world than a dead and buried saloon. May it rest in peace. Oh. oh, shut up. Come on, let's get going. It's getting late and we haven't found Grandpa's mansion yet. Here's Hawkeye, Snake. Hello, Hawkeye, what's up? Well, I don't know yet, Snakebite. McGill had his kin folks are heading for the old gopher's house. Well, you glue yourself to him like flypaper. You know what we gotta find out. Say, ain't Bob kinda crowding you a bit? Oh, he don't bother me none as long as he stays on his own side of the street. Go on, get going. It's the big boss's orders. Yeah, yeah, I'm going.
Maybe this is it. Oh, nonsense, Nora. It couldn't be. Oh. Wait a minute. J.P. McGillicuddy. Let me see. J.P. McGillicuddy. This is it, Mother. A sadder sight I never saw. Oh, why? Why, it's... Uh, it's magnificent, like a, like a page out of history. Like Columbus, Discovery America. Like Washington, crossing the Delaware. Like the wreck of the Hesperus. Like the wreck of the Hesperus. I, Jigs, come on. This is our heritage. <sighs> come on, Nora. Watch where you're walking, dear. All right. You think it's kind of weird, Mother? Oh, nonsense. It's peaceful and quiet. <laughs> so is the cemetery. What's that? Sounded like an owl. Well, an owl can't do anything to you. Only scare you to death. Well, come on, let's go in. Now, see if anybody's home. Go on, Jake. Nobody home. Well, try the door. The door's locked. That's enough for me. Jake, you get in there. Go ah, on, get in there. Listen, now. Candlestick. Give Nora a light. Nora likes candlesticks. Light. Light. Hurry up. Oh, stop shaking, Daddy. But who's shaking? Ah! Ah! Something blew at me. Oh, don't be silly. Scared the life out of me. That's just your imagination. Oh. Ah! Oh, 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 it's, it's all right, Jake. Don't be frightened. Uh, things oh. flying, doors popping open, shades going up, things hollering. Maggie, why don't we go home before they send us back horizontal? Oh, yes, oh don't be mother. silly. We're going to wait right here until we find the gold mine. Ah, oh, but Maggie, the gold mine. Nora, go. hand your father the candlestick. Come on, let's go upstairs and see where we're going to sleep tonight. But Maggie, no. Be practical. You're not afraid. Oh, I am not. I'm not afraid, Maggie. Well, then why are you turning yellow? I, I'm turning yellow. Upstairs. Turning yellow. Oh, yeah. Upstairs. Nora. Nora, follow your father. Mother. There's nothing to be afraid about, dear. Everything's oh, quite all right. Your mother's here. Maggie, <laughs> do we have to go up here? Yes, we got to get to sleep. It's getting late. <laughs> It's all right. Don't be afraid, dear. Oh. Maggie, isn't there some other place we could go? Will you keep going? All right, That's Maggie. Thing. That'll frighten him away. <laughs> it's all right. I just stumbled. Somebody pushed me. <laughs> what a joint. Well, let's try this room. Go on, Jigs. Hurry up. Don't, oh, don't oh. rush me now. Don't rush me. Well, go on. Go on in, Jigs. Maggie. Let's go and find a hotel. Oh, you scary cat. What's the matter with you? There isn't anything in there that can possibly hurt you. Come on! Cheerful padded send this is. We're not going to sleep here, are we? If it was good enough for Grandpa, it's good enough for us. Here, Nora, go down and light that lamp. Look, Grandpa's going. Ah, don't point that thing at me. It might be loaded. Oh, and a sheriff's badge. Grandpa must have been the big cheese in this town.
here, Jiggs. You take this and go find Nora a room. Maggie, are you sure you want to stay here? Will you keep quiet and go find Nora a room and then bring up the luggage so we can get him dressed? Maggie, are you sure you want to stay here? Maggie, but I, I guess stay. Will you get going? Bring up the luggage. Maggie, but I, I rest. Will you get going? There, good night, darling. Good, good night, night, night. There, don't trip over that panel. Oh. oh. Don't worry, now I'm right in the room next to you. Come on, Nora, with your father. This is your room. Now, now, don't be scared. We're right in the next room. Oh, I won't be scared, Daddy. No. Good night. Good night. Good night. out here without any light. Oh, sorry. Scared me. Good night. Good night. Darling, it's only me, Grandpa. Grandpa, you're here. Oh, are you all right, Grandpa? Sure, I'm all right. Why do you ask that? Well, Jake said he ran into you in the hall and shot you. Well, Jake must have been seeing ghosts, but it wasn't me. Well, tell me, Grandpa, did you find the gold, the secret mine that's going to make me gold queen, the richest woman in all the world? Don't rush me, gal. I got to think. I haven't been here in over 30 years. Things have changed. I got lost coming up the street. But don't worry, gal. I'll go out in the hills tomorrow and scout around and see if I can find the gold mine. Well, didn't you make a map or something? Oh, I never kept a map on the count of that grizzly carter. I kept it all in me head. But don't worry, Maggie. It'll come to me. Well, I gotta go now. But I want to give you one warning. Don't let that carter gang get you like old grizzly carter got me. But I got him, too. I shot him between the livery stable and the barber shop. Oh, <laughs> Grandpa, don't worry. I'll get them. I'll get them. <laughs> What's the matter, Maggie? You're going to get who now? Oh, don't interrupt. I'm talking to Grandpa. Oh, no, Maggie. Shh. Go on, Grandpa. <laughs> You were dreaming. I was not. Grandpa! Grandpa! Good boy, Maggie! Grandpa! When are you coming back? As soon as I can get out again. Oh, I still don't know where the goal is. This is all your fault. You scared him away. I'm going to make this into a great city. I'll put the city hall right over there, Jiggs. I'll have the subway running under it and coming up over there. Brother... Jiggs, look! Somebody's opening up for business. E. Bottom, Espier, a 
an S seer. I don't know, but it got nothing to do with food. Come on! Oh, you always think of food. Here, you take the list and go down and see Bullseye, or whatever his name is. Oh, what I'd give for a plate of Diddy's corned beef and cabbage. Even without mustard. Holy smoke, snake bite. Look who's heading this way. Well, then, who is? Well, I, I... What is it, ma'am? Oh, well... Well, 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 Mr. Rocky Bottom, delighted to welcome you to Gower Gulch. Oh, yeah? Uh, <laughs> you may not know it, of course, uh, but my grandpa owned this town and the gold mine, and he elects them all to me. <laughs> you mean the old gopher thought he owned them? That's why my grandpappy sodded him down in Boot Hill Cemetery. Sodded him down in Boot Hill Cemetery. Six feet under. Grandpappy Grizzly Carter shot it out with him over that gold Maggie Jim. If anybody's gonna get any of that gold, it's gonna be me, Snake Bite Carter. So you right, ma'am. He's a Carter. Keep with the family. Hold it, brother. Maybe it's because you're a bit laugh. <laughs> then again, maybe it's to remind you and the big boss that old Grizzly was my grandfather, too. The big boss? How dare you call my grandpa your big boss? Why, you two times... Shut up! You're both dead and buried, and so is ours. If any gold comes out of these hills, I'm getting my share. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Send a telegram? Yes, for this one. Oh. There you are. Now don't forget, it's a secret. Sure, but it'll cost extra for the secret. <laughs> uh, now, can you rush it? Sure, but it'll cost extra. Don't forget now, send that telegram. <laughs> that man's name to me. There's no joke. We gave him the slip. Forget her. How's Maggie? Where is she? Well, Maggie's home talking to Grandpa. Sure, the man's been dead and buried for the past 30 years. Uh, now, that don't stop Maggie from talking to him. Well, I can see. What? Yes. Well, she's all right if you don't answer her back. <laughs> Didn't she? Yeah. Look, there's a spot for you. I sort of you the minute I laid my eyes on it. Well, it's a broken down looking dog. To put it in shape, didn't he? Do you have to be reminding me of that? Well, the boys are all pitching in hell. Well, let's hurry and get it fixed up so we all can have some drinks and some corned beef and cabbage. Uh -huh. <laughs> my mouth is watering already. Well, that that I go, Jake. Ah, I can see it now. The table's all crowded with people buying drinks. Four bartenders. That's for the opening night only. And me at the cash register working both hands. And I'll have a stage with beautiful young girls kicking up to the sky. Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. How do you like 
It's a slow night. I'm putting him on taking on all covers. Oh, I'd hate to tussle with him. He looks like a tough guy to me. With a name like that, he's got to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> Coming down with that dead nab pneumonia. Don't be ridiculous. Spirits can't get pneumonia. Didn't you never hear of spirits of pneumonia? Well, Grandpa, I don't want anything to happen to you. That is until we find the gold mine. Maybe I better get you some sulfur molasses. Sulfur molasses? Oh, cheap and gee horse What are you trying to do? Kill me? Now, if you had a mite of corn liquor. Well, I don't know how corny it is, but here's some back here that you left. There you are, Grandpa. Here's your corn liquor. Now go on, drink it right down. It'll do you good. Thanks. I don't need it now. My cough's all better. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? You're here. <laughs> I thought you were over there. Here's the whiskey you asked for. I didn't ask for any whiskey. You didn't? No. Well, then who did? Well, I don't know, but don't look closer to me. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean? Well, there's a phony ghost to this room, and I think I know where he is. Ah, just as I thought. Hawkeye, what are you doing underneath there? Believe it or not, I'm waiting for a stagecoach. Get out of there. You ever step foot in this house again, you'll feel the weight of my rolling pin. You, I... Grandpa, what kept you so long? Well, sit down, gal, and I'll tell you. You see, I got in trouble when I was here the last time. They caught me sneaking back in, and they punished me. Oh, Grandpa, what'd they do to you? Well, they put me in a shoveling coal. You can only see the calluses on my hands. The brutes. But what about the gold mine? Did you find it? I can't stand much more of this suspense. All right, I'll tell you. I can't go today, because I got to get right back. First thing tomorrow, you go out of the house, turn due east, go a half a mile up the canyon till you come to that big rock that looks like a flathead with a big schnozzle. Well, go on. What do I do then? Well, from there on, I ain't quite sure. But I'll be there to help you find it. My crackety, is a bit late. I gotta get back now to shovel more coal. <laughs> <laughs> 
But Grandpa! Grandpa! You come back here! Come back! Oh, Grandpa, why do you always leave me out on a limb? You finally got here. What kept you? How did you get here? Oh, you summed your way. I... Oh, look at that sun. Oh, isn't that terrible? Don't worry, Dugan. I'll fix it. I put a little cold water. I get a little... I, I get I, I... Dugan, it's a good thing you didn't do that to Ditty. He break your back. I suppose now you, you want to see Ditty and the gang? They're inside. Ah, the doctor went there. Ditty said he'd murder you if you showed up. Uh, maybe you shouldn't have come. Uh, the poor little thirsty man. Now I got to figure a way of how to get you in there now. I... By golly, I got an idea. This old sheriff's bad to grandpa's. That'll do the trick. You know, Maddie's grandfather owned this whole town. She inherited it. I'm her husband. And I now pronounce you man and sheriff. Now you're the law. Go on in. Gold digging equipment ready, because we're going to start out the first thing in the morning, and I have the spot picked out. Do I knew you'd get here, Dugan. Oh, it's nice to see you, Dugan. The gang's together again. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, stop that, all of you. Dugan, get out of my place, or I'll tear you limb from limb. Ah, oh, don't be pulling no phony badges on me. Now, wait a minute, Dinty, wait a minute. That ain't no phony. What? That's yeah, a real badge. He's the police. Hey, where did you get it? <gasps> Secret police. Sheriff, Coward Gunch. Oh, you want a glass of beer? Get out of here. Now, wait a minute, Dugan. Wait, they're open on this end. Uh, Mike. Uh, uh, Mike, uh, a beer on the double. Hurry up, the, the, the man here. Uh, thank you very much. There you are. Wait a minute. That'll be 15 cents. All right, all right. Dugan, why don't you make us your deputy so we can all get free? Yeah, don't be putting any ideas into it. It's started already. <laughs> oh, here's my nemesis on me premises. I see dark days ahead. <laughs> well, if it ain't Dugan, uh, how are you? When did you get here? Oh, I'm glad to see you. Uh, I thought you were going to throw him out. Uh, well, uh, you see, I, I thought maybe... Oh, Jiggs, I... Dugan is a sheriff, a real sheriff. Uh, look at these bags. No, it can't, it can't. Oh, that's fine, Dugan. Oh, you'll make a fine sheriff. And I'm sure you'll keep the peace, all right. Keep the peace, he says. I hear you got a new sheriff. Where is he? I want to see him. Here he is, sir. Come on. You hear that calling you? He wants it. I'm going to do your duty. You've been called to do it. Get him out there, Fred. Get him out there. The man can see him. Please. Get him out there. 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 Get him Smart little hombre. Well, the big boss likes him that way. Okay, Sheriff, you take care of your end and I'll take care of mine. 
What a setup. One of our gang, the sheriff. <laughs> All right, you yellow hombres, crawl out here where I can see and tell you what's on my mind. You heard me. Take it easy, brother. So you're butting in again, huh? That's no way to welcome these folks to our peaceful little town. You're liable to kill more people than we got coffins for. Yeah, I guess maybe you're right, kid. Yeah. Take care of those. What are you doing with that Carter guy? Shh. I'm getting him on our side. Listen, you lizards, and I'll make it short and snappy. There'll be no gold prospecting around here within a radius of 50 miles. And that goes for everybody. The only way we'll get along sociable like is for you to mind your business, and we'll mind ours. Right? Right. All right, folks, you can get up now. Oh. You know, it's, it's hard to believe that that big bully is your brother. Well, really, he's just my half-brother. Half-brother? And someday, when the big boss is not around, I'm gonna knock off the other half. Say, who is this big boss? And why is he fighting my mother and trying to rob her of Grandpa's gold? You know, Nora, you've got the greenest eyes and the cutest little nose and the prettiest mouth I ever saw. Uh, all right, fellas, the, the drinks are on me. Look, there's the rock Grandpa told me about. Flathead rock with a snoggle. So what? So, we wait here for Grandpa. Wait for Grandpa, she says. Yes. here to show us where to go from here. Okay, Grandpa, we're waiting. Did you hear what I heard? Grandpa's coming. You and me are the only sane people around here. I think Maggie's gone nuts. What's that you said? Uh, oh, I, I was just telling this is a fine place to grow nuts. You know, walnuts, hickory nuts, donuts. No donuts. Oh, shut up. And you shut up, too. Okay, Grandpa. We're waiting. Yes, Grandpa. She's waiting. <laughs> they claim that's gold buried here. But I don't see any. I don't think there's anything better here but Maggie's grandfather. Well, we don't want to be digging him up. No. You know, I was thinking for a moment there, but... Hey, wait a minute. There is gold here. You got, got it. What? Got what? What? There is a hump the size of me thumbnail. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It tastes like gold. Yeah. yeah. Well, what do you know? It has me initial on it. What? <laughs> there it is, a G. Uh, me own initial? Yeah. Something's funny here. Wait a minute. It's me on coupling. Ah, oh, you're all big oh, I say that. Maggie, look! That'll teach you lizards a lesson. There won't be any digging for gold around here by anybody. Oh, uh, don't, don't act scared, Murphy. Uh, I'm not acting. Yeah, there's some more of them over there, snake bite. Yeah, come on, let's get them. 
coming this way. I'm a going to go down. You say it that way, I'll kick your teeth. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, you see, mister, we thought... Shut up! I'm shut. Don't you know what just happened to a couple of fellows over there digging for gold? No. Well, I'll tell you. Oh, I didn't know it was you, Sheriff. So you're after these lizards, too, huh? Okay, they're your prisoners. Lock them up. Come on, boys, let's get back and bury those other two before the buzzards get them. Oh. Bob, put those things away. Come on. Dugan, this is one time I'm glad that you're with us. Yeah, I never thought I'd be asking favors of Dugan. Introduce to you at 225 pounds who challenges any man in the house to stay 15 minutes for a purse of 500 bucks. I take great pride in introducing that mountain of muscle, the one and only Baba Kulkovich. <laughs> Don't be bashful. Come on, don't crowd, but one at a time. And the size makes no difference to the bother, because the bigger they come, the harder they fall. Hey, just a minute there, you. Well, now what's that brother of mine up to? What's that you said about Bomber Kilkovac or whatever his name is? I, I said uh, Bomber Kulkovich. Well, what about him? Well, he, he, he will uh, give $500 to anybody to stay out of the ring and leave him alone. I mean, uh, anybody that goes in the ring with, with him out uh, together in there and uh, throws him, he uh, gets $500. Is that on the level? Oh, oh yeah, yes, that, that it is. That it is, it is. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, you will, huh? Yeah, we will. They'll take it. Okay, Cyclone, you go on in and get ready. Cyclone's the name. <laughs> Mountain of muscle. Mommy, don't face it. He's only fooling. There's a man down at the end of the bar buying everybody a drink. So Clear this table. We want to sit down. Come on, clear it. <laughs> Cyclone 
one sure cooled him. Yeah, he's a bomber, all right, a dive bomber. <laughs> I've got $500 to bet on my man. I can't let him get away with that. Who wants any part of it? I'll take that bet. I'll take all of it. So we're on opposite sides of the fence again, huh, brother? That's right. As far as I'm concerned, we always will be. Here, honey, you hold a bet. Wait a minute. How do I know that Never you Never mind won't... about that. Just put up and shut up. Well, all right. Come on, Bob. Come on, get, get with it, Bob. Come on, here. We got it. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go. Yes, all right. I'll take, take it easy. Uh, uh, Billy, show the gentleman to his corner. I know, my God. Yeah, I know. No, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Billy, take care of him. Take care of him. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mama Kulkovich, and over here is Mr. Cyclone, and the referee is Billy Vincent, and, and I'm getting out of here. <laughs> he falls here to tell. Go. <laughs> Did you see that? Sure, that's no fitting place for a man or a beast. I gotta have a drink. Come on up here. Well, I, I, I don't know anything about refereeing. Come on, on your feet and get up here. The governor, that, that thing might go off. Oh, Jinsy. Shut up. Get in there. No, Bob, not father. That's all right, honey. You'll be all right. My man better win if you want to stay healthy. I said me best friend to do his doom. All right, get going. Okay, go ahead. Bob, they'll hurt him. I don't care about me five hundred dollars. I care how nervous I am when I say that. Count him out! Count him out! One! Two! Two! Two and a half! Two and a half! Two and five days! Two and three quarters! Come on, count them out. <laughs> 
I'll count him out. Down. There'll be no shooting here. When are you giving orders? Ah! Ah! What are we waiting? Now, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's enough record me joined. We're staying out of this. My toe and slipped all the way down. Oh, Grandpa, you're here. Yeah, so I'm pretty well tuckered out. <laughs> now, Grandpa, you gotta tell me where to go. Now, wait a minute. Gotta get my breath, gal. Let me sit down on this rock. Now, Grandpa, did you find the mine? Yes, I did, Maggie. The gold is there just as I left it. And it's all yours. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see that hill over there to the right? Oh, there goes that big toe again, Maggie. So sorry, Grandpa. Yeah, well, right up there by the... Uh-oh, wait a minute. Look what's coming. Where, Grandpa? I mean, where? Uh... Right over there. That's too late, Maggie. Here come the Carter gang. I can't show you now. Got to get out of here before they riddle me. And I don't like riddles. But don't worry, I'll be back. Grandpa! You can't leave me here alone, Grandpa! The Carters are... Grandpa! They 
There she is, boys. Come on. There'll be no beating around the bush, Maggie Jiggs. Where's that hidden mine? You know where it is. You bet I know where it is, but you ain't gonna scare me into telling you. The big boss says there'll be no more stalling around. You'll talk or else you'll wind up in Boot Hill Cemetery with your grandfather. You can get out of this. Uh. Well, hello, boys. Take it easy. Let her alone, Snakebite. What's the idea, kid? You know the big boss's orders. Yeah, I know. I just want to make sure I'm in on it. Now, do we all go to the big boss and get the good news together, or do you want to have a showdown right here? Why, we go together. We're both Carters, ain't we? I reckon old Grandpa Grizzly'd kind of like to have us split that gold even. And now you're beginning to cook with gas, Snakebite. Whoa, whoa! Maggie, darling! Are you alive? Jiggs! Come and save me! Come on, boys! Find your gun! I'll do it! That way, Get back in that wagon, you 10th Avenue barflies. Didn't you hear me? Jiggs! This is the end of your stalling, Maggie Jiggs. We want to know where the old gopher's gold is, and you're going to tell it to the big boss. He wants to see you. Well, I want to see him. I... Oh, 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 let go of me. Oh, oh, Come on, horse. boys, let's go. You know, that's my wife. I had enough of you. Here they are, boss. Hello, Maggie. George McManus. So you're the big boss. You're boss and Jim's boss. What? Oh, it's an idea I was working on while I was at a dude ranch. I wanted to see how you'd act in western surroundings. Here. So that. You're the same old Maggie, no matter where you are. You mean you arranged all this? Gower Gulch, the old gopher, I mean, Grandpa, and, and, and the gold mine? Yep. Snake, Pipe, and Bob are the Carter brothers, all right. They own the ranch that I was stopping at. I didn't think you'd do that to us, Mr. McManus. Well, I thought Bob was, well, too nice to be a villain. He is nice, and he's going to invite you out to the ranch. Oh. I think you had me, honey, all over everywhere for gold that didn't even exist. <laughs> Don't cry, Maggie. I'm your gold. You and Jigs are mine. I'll let always remember that. It was so real, I, I can't believe it wasn't. I'd like to get a look at Maggie's face right now. <laughs> You'll have to give your old pal Dippy some credit. Jinky. Yes. Dippy helped me arrange everything. He knew what he had to do the minute he got your wire. Oh, that double-crosser. That backbiting, no good, 10th Avenue saloon keeper. Whatever you said about him, Maggie, was right. I'll never go in his place as long as I live. Jeeks, do you mean it? Yes, I'll never go into Diddy's saloon again. Oh, Jigs, I've been waiting for years to hear you say that. Oh, oh Maggie. Maggie. And to think you did it. Oh, George McManus, I forgive you everything. Now I can go back to New York happy. Uh, but Ma Maggie, when we get to New York, that promise is out. Yes. What? Well, now, I just... I, Kate, now, oh, now, you I, worm. I, I, you now both now I, you. Oh, I didn't wait, mean... Wait, we can't get you in that house. My God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. That's my Maggie. <laughs>